name is Kaylee and I just did a review of the Costway washing machine and spin dryer duo and as much as I like the washing machine on that appliance the spin dryer wasn't quite doing it for me because it would only get close 80 to 90 percent dry and then I'd hang dry and they'd be all starchy so I was like you know what I'm gonna get a heat dryer this is a panda dryer and I am going to show you guys what it's like. So it comes pretty much assembled. Um, there are little feet that you have to put on, like down here. I guess you can't really see them. And I am not going to be lifting it up. Um, it opens with this door. Ooh. And this thing back here is a filter, which I'll show you at the end of the cycle. But we've also got this button <laughs> and when it's pressed in it means that you want high heat and when it's out it means low so I usually do high and then there's different settings for cold air warm air hot air and air dry and I usually do the hot air because I want to make sure that everything is completely dry so that's what I'll be doing today but before I get to that I want to show you some of the other features here it is going around now, something about this machine in terms of ventilation is that they don't offer much. Uh, there's this, oh, this thing that there's not really any instructions, so I just put it together with what made sense and it seems to fit. And then I kind of just stick it on this hole and most of the time it works. I don't know if I'm supposed to, you know, put it in there. It usually stays pretty well. And then the other thing to note back here is just the, the cable for plugging it in. So we do have this vent thing. It's not, it doesn't get too bad in terms of hot air, but it's nice to just have the vent going outside of a window so that it's kind of pushing the air out there a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna turn this back around. So now I see the drum, and so I'm gonna get. <laughs> Those are my clothes <laughs> from directly, if you watch the Costaway video, it's directly from after I had them in the spin dryer. So they're just like a little wet. Um, so I'm just gonna throw them on there. And so if you're wanting to pair this with the Costaway, it does fit, I would say, about perfectly the size of load that the costway will wash and then that would be two two dryer cycles and so this is what it looks like when I have it filled with a costway load and I just close it now I'm gonna stand up so this I do have this on the ground maybe not the most ideal setting but I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit it's going to be too hard to show you everything on camera, so I'll be explaining. I'm plugging it into the wall. And then I do have it placed in front of a window where I actually have the shades closed right now. But that's because it was really glaring on the video. And I actually, I like to put in a dryer sheet but I forgot to bring one over. So I'm just going to start it and then I'll probably stop it and put in the dryer sheet later. But we see the, t the knob. So I'm going to turn it. I usually try to do 120. It's kind of hard to see from above. So I'm just going to... And there it goes. The dryer machine is working. So it does take a minimum of 120 for, for the, the heated cycle. Hopefully that's enough. I don't think too, there's too much of a problem and then up here oops where it is where's the top oh there we go the top this is the top of the hose it's got some it's gonna have some warm air coming out so I actually I'm gonna open the window um, and just let out and so now I have it drying and so I'll just have this for a couple of hours so it does take longer than a regular dryer but you know if you can't have a regular appliance in your home this is a nice alternative Oop. hello 
Hello, it's Kaylee again, and it's been a few hours. Uh, the the dry went for two hours. I actually ended up being away for like four hours, and I did some errands and stuff. So that's why I look different. But <laughs> the clothes are dry, and so I'll take out an example. It's perfectly dry, uh, which is great. Um, it's it's uh. So the only, one of the only downsides is that there is a slight smoky smell, but it's nothing overwhelming. It's just, you know, if you take a whiff like I just did, which probably was weird without practicing it with that, but that's what I was doing. I was, <laughs> I was trying to show that there is a slight smoky smell. So. I just, I got all the laundry out, it's all dry and good, and the only other thing I wanted to show you, back here, we have this filter that comes out, and so it's got all the lint on it like a normal dryer does, it's on this side, <laughs> and so you just take the lint out and then um, you put it back in with this way, hold on. I'm doing it wrong right. Yeah, and then you, it, it just goes together, and then you just shove it back in. But I'm going to go clean it, of course. And that is how this dryer works. So it, it dried the clothes, and they just, the only downside was it does, it takes a little while, and they smell a little, a little smoky, just like a little bit, you know. And aside from that, there's a lint filter, which is nice, and it, it works. So that's all good. Hope this helps. <laughs>